Honeywell's Max Pro VMS video management system controls multiple sources of video subsystems to collect, manage and present video in a clear and concise manner. This video is all about how to solve Max Pro VMS login issues, such as workstation not configured. Without any ado, let's start the video. Right click on Max Pro VMS icon from desktop and select Run as Administrator. Once the application open, it will start auto login using current Windows account credentials. Or, user can change the username and password by unselecting Use Current Windows Account option. However, let's try the first option. As you can see, it's try to connect the database, but unable to connect, and the error we're getting is workstation not configured. Usually, this error occurs if the user has changed computer name or machine name. Let's check what is my computer name. To do that, go to my computer properties. Here you will see the computer name. Close this window and let's check what is the computer name in the VMS. To check computer name in the VMS, click on server setting from VMS login screen. As you see on the screen, the name of the computer is not the same as the computer actual name. To resolve this issue we have two methods. In the first method, the user can replace the computer name to server IP address. Let's change and try to log in again. Enter the IP address of the server. Then click on save. And then click on OK. As you can see on the screen, the default profile name has been changed computer name to IP address of the server. Let's try to log in into VMS by enter user credentials. Sometimes it will not work because it's fresh installation. Let's try the second method. To do that, close this window. For the second method, user have to change the computer name from SQL database. To do that, download SQL Server Management Studio. Link given in the description. I have already downloaded. Right click on the setup file and click on run as administrator. Complete the installation. Once the installation is finished, run SQL Server Management Studio from the Start menu. To log in into Max Pro VMS database, click on Server Name. Then click on Browse from More. A new pop-up window will open. Select Database from the Database Engine and remove the first name and keep the name of the server as slash SQL Express. Then click on Connect. Here, the user has logged into the Max Pro VMS database. Go to the Database folder. Then Trinity Database. Then Tables. Here find dbo.workstation. Right click on it and select edit top 200 rows. In the workstation column, user has to change name of the computer. Enter correct name, it should be same as computer name. Once user clicks on close, it will save the changed name automatically. Let's close this and try to log in into Max Pro VMS. To do that, right click on Max Pro icon from desktop and select Run as Administrator. As you can see the Max Pro VMS connecting to the server. Now it's loading viewer screen. Finally, it's logging into server. Hope you learned how to solve workstation not configured error in Max Pro VMS. If you are facing any issues, with Honeywell's CCTV system, 
you can contact us via WhatsApp or other social media platforms to provide technical support anywhere in the world. If you satisfied with our explanation, please don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to our channel for the motivation to make more videos on different topics which will not be available on YouTube. Click on bell icon to get notified whenever we upload new videos. Thank for watching this video. See you soon in the next video.